Hello, Rod. Hiya. Hi, James. What is this place? It's a grotto. What do you think a grotto is? It's, it's where Santa is, isn't it? I don't think Santa would come here. Where's the task, Alex? It's on its way. <laughs> right. Poke something out of the hole in the roof of this grotto. Least expected thing poked through winds. <laughs> you have 20 minutes. Time starts now. Poke something out of the hole. There won't be a pound shop nearby, is there? Are you on Amazon Prime? <laughs> I haven't got my phone. <laughs> who are we going to see first? Well, first, we're going to see a man who will very soon go by the nickname Jay Caster. It's Jay Caster. Here we go. <laughs> Poke something out of the gutter. Right. I know what it's going to be. Okay. But these guys had to stop filming me. You want me to call the cameras off? All the cameras off. This is going to be unexpected. <laughs> Fun's over. <laughs> right, I'm ready. The cameras are back on, James. Film is back on. <laughs> this is genius. Only advice I can give the taskmaster for this one: expect the unexpected, baby. Can you tell him that? You want me to tell him to expect the unexpected, baby? Okay. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Hands on a stick. Oh, oh. Hands on a stick. You get extra points for a song? No. Nope. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that beautiful song. I'll be honest, as soon as I was holding my pants on a stick, I genuinely went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to give us a bit more of pants on a stick? Pants on a stick, <laughs> waving from side to side, my pants on a stick. Whose pants? My pants, your pants, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice song. Nice song. Well, good, we're off to a start. Who's OK. Then? Who's uh, next? We're now going to see a Godlyman Wang combo at last. <laughs> Kerry and Phil. <laughs> It's nature, isn't it? It's all, you know, there isn't going to be a hamburger or something. <laughs> right. Right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> OK, Alex, here it comes. <laughs> That. Yeah, I can see it. What do you reckon? I'm worried about you. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Okay. Uh, I might need help with the zip, Alex. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're right, I was not expecting to see your bra on the end of a bean pole. Please with yourself? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry's was the only one I didn't know what was going on, so I was genuinely surprised when a, Why? When a bra came up. Because, well, she went into the woods, hid in a bush and took her bra off and then came back. <laughs> Whereas the other they two... They did it on camera. I'm quite on... glad I didn't do it yeah. on camera. Yeah. Like, no, I went, I went well, away privately. Yeah. yeah, classy little... <laughs> I didn't think Alex had a live feed, like a pervert. <laughs> There was a big hole in the roof. <laughs> I was not wholly surprised by your approach, Phil, because I have decided that the only reason you've come into this series is to show as much of your genitals as you possibly can. <laughs> we had a very tender moment when I zipped you up. Oh, lovely. I flew on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't you, uh... What? Why don't you go over and uh, relive old times and have a little hug with Phil? Can I? You say I don't give you, I don't give you moments yourself. Go and give Phil a hug and remember it if you like. 
Thanks, mate. You're... Sit down! <laughs> You. you do things when I tell you. <laughs> Last up are Rod and Jess. Gilbert and Nappet, it's poking time again. I'm going to go and try and find something more unexpected. Let's just see. Uh, uh, got that down there, I don't know what to do with it. It's a nice grotto, isn't it, Alex? Thank you. Can you come down and join me in the grotto, please? OK. Can you see that? Yes. The position you'll be adopting is if you lean forward, so then that's it. You can lean, sit back into the ladder a little. I think this is going to be quite good. So you undo your belt and then just cuff your trousers down. I might need you to pull the trousers down so I can hold on to something. You've heard that before. <laughs> you can't pull your own trousers down. An expected item appearing now. What? It's a... On fire, Jess. It's a fire! Please don't set fire to the tree. <laughs> Some uh, classical music would be nice. OK, you, what have you, what have you like? Do that with it. OK, if you bend right down, head right down, Alex, please. Right I, don't, down. I, don't, I don't want to open up. <laughs> OK. You've got 30 seconds, dog. OK. Oh! <laughs> OK, I've run out of water, so that is, uh, that is the water feature closed for today, kids. Thank you so much, Rob. OK. I mean, I feel sorry for Jess, because I genuinely wasn't expecting fire to come out of the hole. Yeah. And then... <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't... Compete with Alex's ass. <laughs> it wasn't before. just Alex's ass, was it? <laughs> no, as it was grotesque the... and unexpected as that was. <laughs> but it's also the fact that he then said, That's the water feature closed, kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to judge it? Yeah, I'm going to judge it. Okay. I'm going to give two points straight in at two to Kerry, James, and Phil, because I think. I kind of guessed it was going to be an item of clothing coming through the roof of the grotto. OK, so the bra, pants and yellow jumpsuit all get two points. Correct. OK. Jess, the element of fire, I wasn't expecting. Okay. Uh, four points. Second place, Jess Nappett. And five points and up to £20,000 of my own money for counselling. <laughs> Rod Gilbert! <laughs> Rod wins the OK. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.